Well, a very strong uh, start from Cement right now. Killing him in basically one or two combos. Uh, the low health of Chip is definitely going to come into factor here, considering, again, how much damage they both do. Both players here will be effectively will be able to convert one or two straight hits into quite a bit of damage. Chip's um, Oki tools are very, very, very strong, and, well, Cement is playing May, and Light Ice has kind of a low health bar on the Chip, so... Definitely a little bit of an uphill battle for him, I'd say. A very strong Roman cancel is going to finish out the game. Light Ice on the back foot here, taking advantage of the air tools the chip has to wonderful counter hit. Not going to see the burst yet. Both players incredibly good at utilizing the burst effectively, and some of these players do have an extended matchup history. Both of them are very familiar with the other's defensive options. So, you know, it's a, it's a trend we've definitely seen in the past where, you know, bursts get unused because it's just so dangerous to both players very familiar with habits of their opponent as the YRC is going to come through the Cement Light Ice, going to win the next interaction anyways. Got Cement still in the corner and looking to take the first game here. So the burst will come through, Cement connecting it, getting back to midstream, but Chip's movement is going to put him back in the corner and take the first game with... Beautiful chip things, you know? Great mix, great OP, strong play. A pretty good counter hit uh, right out of the start, putting a cement back in the corner. The Super Wall Brick is going to give him a positive bonus here. Although he doesn't have much meter. Maybe a Roman cancel might come out from Cement. Put it back in his favor. Cement on the wall and the round will go to Light Ice once again, showing effective dominance in this neutral. You know, Cement is getting a lot of really good hits, but not getting the conversions off it that he needs um, as first is going to come through. Light Ice in the corner, but Light Ice, wonderful counter hit. Roman cancels to get himself out and put Cement on the back foot. Wonderful PRC puts these two. Just fitting the grab. Light Ice still has the burst on deck. Cement is slowly returning. Well, put in the corner. Chip is going to have his abilities connect here. Light Ice going to be taking game two. Beautiful, beautiful stuff from him. He is very excited about that. He knows he's been playing great. And Ninja. Looks to prop potentially take it 3 out. We'll have to see as we are getting into our game set. Rounds start going the way of Light Ice too. Absolutely beautiful, putting Cement in the corner just immediately. Clash is going to come out in favor of Chip, and he's got those super, super fast buttons. This is May is going to connect, and that grab, those grabs Cement's been doing a wonderful job of sneaking those in all throughout the tournament. Another one there on the PRC, and the DP is going to get caught out and punished for the round. Cement getting on the board in this third game here. Low tech. Beautiful for both players. Light Ice is familiar with that option for Cement. Counter hit is going to come through, putting Cement in the corner. Burst going to connect. Perfect. It's exactly what you need for Cement. You know, if you get that burst faded out, you're in deep, deep trouble. Now, Light Ice does still have his burst, so if he can make a good prediction, or if Cement can fail to make a good prediction, he can still make it out of this. Now both players are going to have meter. We're going to close the round out with a Dolphin. All right, Cement getting on the board here, one to two, not going down without a fight, as we are going to get to our fourth game here. In May showing that potency. With a Dolphin to get out of the corner, definitely a very risky move, but it seems to have paid off considering the combo he's getting right now. Kind of good. I mean, you, when you when you have that player familiarity, you know you do have to take those risks. Um, you know, play that variation. And, 
make things happen is Light Ice going to go down. Straight couple of hits from May. Conversion is exactly on point, exactly what you need to see if you're Cement. Great stuff. It's a very strong defense from Light Ice right now. Getting beaten out by the block, I mean by the grab. That risk damage is no joke, especially on Chip, but BRC going to be grabbed after, and well, just like that, we're on game five, Cement looking for the bracket reset. Absolutely beautiful. No character switches, song switches, or anything like that for either player. And his round start trade is going to come out. Light Eyes getting a wonderful counter hit, puts Cement in the corner here. Going to be taking the wall break here to make a positive bonus for himself as Cement on the back foot here, both players still having burst, but another beautiful, beautiful counter hit. First delay is going to come through for Cement, exactly what he needs to stabilize. Get back to neutral, Roman cancel for May to convert into one of those insanely high damage combos and chip here. Guard crush too, and Lytus is now in the corner with that risky, rapidly increasing YRC going to connect. Chip. He, he does still have 50 meter and he has a burst, so if Cement does manage to make it out, might not be forever. Beautiful stuff from Light S turning the round and setting him up on tournament point. Ready to take it here. Cement, however, going to have something to say about that. Getting Light Ice into disadvantage. But Light Ice fighting back. You know, he's very aware of that risk meter, very aware of, you know, what can happen to him against May super super quickly. And so he's doing a wonderful job at playing nice and safe. Wall break is going to come through. Beautiful to put Cement now in that disadvantaged meter state. Both players having some on the board. YRC coming through for Cement, exactly what he needs, and a beautiful counter hit, but Light Ice first will connect, and he's got the meter to make it happen. All that Cement needs to do is time that burst perfectly, and he will absolutely insane stuff as Light Ice is going to take a strong counter hit, but Light Ice is going to be able to take the tournament there. Three to two, no bracket reset for Light Ice, so he will be taking it first. Cement in second, Nightshade in third, and Slush Rush in fourth. I have to say, this is one of the closest weeks I have ever seen. Truly some one in a trillion performances right now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was, if I recall correctly, FGC at Xanadu number 503. Uh, we hope to see you back next week for uh, FGC at Xanadu number 504. Um, but also, you know, if you're around, uh, feel free to consider stopping by this weekend. Uh, Homecoming's this weekend. Um, I believe it has 200, I believe they capped registration at 256 entrants, so it will be a uh, full house. Oh, it's not capped anymore. Um, but it's full house. Um, but yeah, so come on by. Um, spectator passes will be sold at the door. I did see that one on Twitter. I'm completely sure about that. Because um, I'm, you know, keep an eye out on that. So yeah, tune in, drop by. It'll be great to see uh, some of, well, our region's best ultimate players and quite a few out of region players. Uh, Tweak and Jackal both signing up. And yeah, so that should be exciting. But that will be uh, it for Guilty Gear's Drive.